The Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem is the head bishop of the Orthodox Church of Jerusalem, ranking fourth of nine patriarchs in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Since 2005, the Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem has been Theophilos III. The Patriarch is styled Patriarch of the Holy City of Jerusalem and all Palestine, Syria, beyond the Jordan River, Cana of Galilee, and Holy Zion. The Patriarch is the head of the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre, and the religious leader of about 130,000 Orthodox Christians in the Holy Land, most of them Palestinians. The Patriarchate traces its line of succession to the first Christian bishops of Jerusalem, the first being James the Just in the first century AD. Jerusalem was granted autocephaly in 451 by the Council of Chalcedon and in 531 became one of the initial five Patriarchates. On the importance of Jerusalem, the Catholic Encyclopedia reads, during the first Christian centuries the church at this place was the center of Christianity in Jerusalem, holy and glorious Zion, mother of all churches. Certainly no spot in Christendom can be more venerable than the place of the Last Supper, which became the first Christian church. History In the Apostolic Age the Christian church was organized as an indefinite number of local churches that in the initial years looked to that it. Jerusalem as its main center and point of reference. See also Jerusalem in Christianity. James the Just, who was martyred around 62, is described as the first bishop of Jerusalem. Roman persecutions following the Jewish revolts against Rome in the later 1st and 2nd centuries also affected the city's Christian community, and led to Jerusalem gradually being eclipsed in prominence by other sees, particularly those of Constantinople, Antioch, Alexandria, and Rome. However, increased pilgrimage during and after the reign of Constantine the Great increased the fortunes of the See of Jerusalem, and in 325 the First Council of Nicaea attributed special honor, but not metropolitan status, to the Bishop of Jerusalem. Jerusalem continued to be a bishopric until 451 when the Council of Chalcedon granted Jerusalem independence from the Metropolitan of Antioch and from any other higher-ranking bishop, granted what is now known as autocephaly, in the Council's seventh session whose decree on the jurisdiction of Jerusalem and Antioch contains the Bishop of Jerusalem, or rather the Most Holy Church which is under him, shall have under his own power the three Palestines. This led to Jerusalem becoming a patriarchate, one of the five patriarchates known as the Pentarchy. When the title of Patriarch was created in 531 by Justinian, after the Saracen conquest in the 7th century, Muslims recognized Jerusalem as the seat of Christianity and the Patriarch as its leader. When the Great Schism took place in 1054 the Patriarch of Jerusalem and the other three Eastern Patriarchs formed the Eastern Orthodox Church, and the Patriarch of Rome formed the Roman Catholic Church. In 1099 the Crusaders appointed a Latin Patriarch. As a result, the Orthodox Patriarchs lived in exile in Constantinople until 1187. Current position. Today, the headquarters of the Patriarchate is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. The number of Orthodox Christians in the Holy Land is estimated to be about 200,000. A majority of church members are Palestinian Arabs, and there are also a small number of Russians, Romanians, Greeks and Georgians. The Patriarch was recently involved in a significant controversy. Patriarch Ionios, elected in 2001, was deposed on decisions of the Holy Synod of Jerusalem. In the aftermath of a scandal involving the sale of church land in East Jerusalem to Israeli investors, the move enraged many Orthodox Palestinian members. Since the land was in an area that most Palestinians hoped would someday become part of a Palestinian state, on May 24, 2005 a special pan-Orthodox Synod was convened in Constantinople to review the decisions of the Holy Synod of Jerusalem. 
the Pan-Orthodox Synod under the presidency of the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew I, voted overwhelmingly to confirm the decision of the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre and to strike Ionio's name from the diptychs, and on May 30, Jerusalem's Holy Synod chose Metropolitan Cornelius of Petra to serve as locum tenens pending the election of a replacement for Ionios. On August 22, 2005, the Holy Synod of the Church of Jerusalem unanimously elected Theophilos, the former Archbishop of Tabor, as the 141st Patriarch of Jerusalem, Israelite Bishops of Jerusalem. The early Christian community of Jerusalem was led by a council of elders, and considered itself part of the wider Israelite community. This collegiate system of government in Jerusalem is seen in Acts chapter 11 verse 30 and 15:22. Eusebius of Caesarea provides the names of an unbroken succession of 36 bishops of Jerusalem up to the year 324. The first 16 of these bishops were of Israelite origin, from James the Just through Judas, the remainder were Gentiles. But since the bishops of the circumcision ceased at this time, after Bar Kokhba's revolt, it is proper to give here a list of their names from the beginning. The first, then, was James, the so-called brother of the Lord, the second, Simeon, the third, Justice, the fourth, Zacchaeus, the fifth, Tobias, the sixth, Benjamin, the seventh, John, the eighth, Matthias, the ninth, Philip, the tenth, Seneca, the eleventh, Justice, the twelfth, Levi, the thirteenth, Ephres, the fourteenth, Joseph, and finally, the fifteenth, Judas. These are the bishops of Jerusalem that lived between the age of the apostles and the time referred to, all of them belonging to the circumcision, James the Just. Simeon I, Justice I, Zacchaeus, Tobias, Benjamin I, John I, Matthias I, Philip, Seneca, Justice II, Levi's, Ephraim, Joseph I, Judas, Bishop Sevilia Capitolina. As a result of the Bar Kokhba revolt in 135, Hadrian was determined to erase Judaism from a Judea province. The province was renamed Syria Palestina. Jerusalem was left in total ruin, and a new city built nearby called Elia Capitolina. These Gentile bishops were appointed under the authority of the Metropolitans of Caesarea. Until the setting up of the Patriarchates in 325, Metropolitan was the highest episcopal rank in the Christian Church. Marcus, Cassianus, Poplus, Maximus I, Julian I, Gaius I, Symmachus, Gaius II, Julian II, Capian, Maximus II, Antoninus, Valens, Dolichianus, Narcissus, Deus, Germanian, Gordius, Narcissus Alexander, Mazabanes, Imenius, Zamudas, Ermen, Macarius I, since 325 Bishop of Jerusalem. Bishops of Jerusalem. Jerusalem received special recognition in Canon 7 of First Council of Nicaea in 325, without yet becoming a metropolitan see. Also, the council for the first time established the Patriarchates. The bishops of Jerusalem were appointed by the Patriarchs of Antioch, Macarius I, Maximus III, Cyril I, John II, Pralius, Juvenal, since 451 Patriarch, Patriarchs of Jerusalem, the Council of Chalcedon in 451 raised the Bishop of Jerusalem to the rank of Patriarch, however, Byzantine politics meant that Jerusalem passed from the jurisdiction of Patriarch of Antioch to the Greek authorities in Constantinople. For centuries, Orthodox clergy, such as the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre, dominated the Jerusalem Church. Juvenal, Anastasius I, Martyrius, Seleucius, Elias I, John III, Peter, Macarius II, Eustochius, John IV, Amos, Isaac, Zacharias, Modestus, Sophronius I Vacant, Anastasius II, John V, Theodore, Elias II, George, Thomas I, Basilius, John VI, 
Sergius I vacant, Solomon vacant, Theodosius, Elias III, Sergius II, Leontius I, Athanasius I, Christodolus, Agathon, John VII, Christodolus II, Thomas II vacant, Joseph II, Orestes vacant, Theophilus I, Nicephorus I, Joannitius, Sophronius II, Euthemius I, Simon II, Patriarchs of Jerusalem in exile. As a result of the First Crusade in 1099, a Latin Patriarchate was created, with residents in Jerusalem from 1099 to 1187. Orthodox Patriarchs continued to be appointed, but resided in Constantinople. Savas, John VIII, Nicholas, John IX, Nicephorus II, Leontius II, Return of Patriarchs of Jerusalem. In 1187, the Latin Patriarch was forced to flee the region. The office of Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem remained and appointments continued to be made by the Catholic Church, with the Latin Patriarch residing in Rome until modern times. The Orthodox Patriarch returned to Jerusalem. Dosidios I, Marcus II vacant. Euthemius II, Athanasius II, Sophronius III, Gregory I, Thaddeus vacant, Athanasius III vacant, Gregory II vacant, Lazarus vacant, Dorotheus I, Theophilus II, Theophanes I, Wikim vacant, Theophanes II vacant, Athanasius IV vacant, Jacob II vacant, Abraham I, Gregory III vacant, Marcus III vacant, Dorotheus II, Germanus, Sophronius IV, Theophanes III, Pasius, Nectarius I, Dosithios II, Chrysanthus, Meletius, Parthenius, Ephraim II, Sophronius V, Abraham II, Procopius I, Anthemus, Polycarpus, Athanasius V, Cyril II, Procopius II, Gerotheus, Nicodemus I, Gersimus I, Damianus I, Timotheus I vacant, Benedict I, Diodorus I, Ionios I, Theophilus III, Hierarchy of the Throne, Metropolitan of Caesarea, Vasilios, Metropolitan of Scythopolis, Iacovos, Metropolitan of Petra, Cornelius, Metropolitan of Ptolemais, Palladios, Metropolitan of Nazareth, Kyriakos, Metropolitan of Neapolis, Ambrosios, Metropolitan of Capitolias, Isihios, Metropolitan of Botsra, Timotheos, Metropolitan of Eleutheropolis, Christodoulos, Metropolitan of Philadelphia, Benedictus, Archbishop of Jerusa, Theophanus, Archbishop of Tiberias, Alexios, Archbishop of Abila, Dorotheos, Archbishop of Joppa, Damaskinos, Archbishop of Constantina, Aristatos, Archbishop of Mount Thabor, Methodios, Archbishop of Jordan, Theophylactos, Archbishop of Sebastia, Theodosios, Archbishop of Ascalon, Nicephorus, Archbishop of Diocesaria, Vacant,